Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm Jala. This is our story of our MadCon experience. Okay, so it started Friday night. Jala came over, she spent the night and stuff. We made Matt, Aaron, and Cameron their t-shirts. So this is the VIP experience. Yeah. So then Saturday morning we woke up, we got ready, and then we drove two and a, two half, and a half, half hours to the hotel. The hotel. Yeah. And so we checked in early, and we went up to our rooms, we got ready, and then we got in line. So we waited in line for like... Three, yeah. three and a half hours actually. So yeah, that was kind of But we met some really cool people. At like 320, we VIP got, got let in. We went through the line and we got checked in. Becky checked me in and she actually recognized me. So yeah, that was awesome. So then when we got in, we got to hang out with the boys. They were in like little stores. Yeah, they were in like little like groups. Like they were all around the room. Like it was totally different than I thought it'd be. I thought there'd be like lines and stuff even for the VIP hour. But they were just like walking around and you got to just kind of talk to them and hang out, take pictures and stuff. So yeah, we did that. We went to Aaron and when we gave Aaron the t-shirt, he recognized me and I felt very happy because of Becky and her amazingness. So yeah, so then we took pictures with Aaron. So then we went to like all the rest of the boys got pictures with them and stuff. Gave Cameron and Matt their shirts. VIP hour was over. And then when the rest, the general and priority people came in, we were like swarming up against these like barriers. The barricade, it was like a black gate. And me and Nicole were at the front the first yeah, day. Yeah, we were at the front the first day. And we got to like, they like, all the guys like ran by. And we got to like, touch their hands and stuff. It was like, it was oh, so before that, when we were waiting in line, um, the, there were like these curtains and the guys like popped out. Oh yeah. And what then Aaron the entire time was just dancing. He was just it dancing. Was it was so, so cute. cute. He was, was so unbelievably he's, cute. He's so he was cool. probably like, the, him and Matt were like the nice, and Cameron were yeah. like the nicest people. They're my favorite. They were just like so sweet. They were so, 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 so sweet. So eventually our numbers got called and we got to go back and we went through the line. It was Jacob, Hayes, Sean, Nash, Taylor. That was one side, and then Taylor was on the other side of the stage, and then it was Aaron, Carter, Matt, and Cameron. But then the lines, it was like one giant line. Yeah, so we got pictures with all the boys. The security of the first day was kind of stronger on like the outside of the barricade rather than the inside so we kind of it wasn't even on purpose yeah like, it wasn't even, even on purpose like we weren't even like we didn't even like know where we were supposed to go and stuff it was so really confusing because like the lines nobody like told us where to go and nobody yeah. told us that Cameron had his own line because he's yeah. really slow apparently. yeah Cameron was he's just really like slow. dancing the he entire just like kind of dances and like talks to you but yeah what happened was Instead of going straight through Taylor's line and down and then into Cameron's own line, we went to Cameron's line and then we like were about to get kicked out and we were like, wait, we didn't get to meet like Taylor and Aaron and Matt and Carter and all them. And he was like, oh, okay, we'll come back through this way. So we went back around. We met all the boys. So yeah. But then I was like, I went up to Becky and I was like, I want to take a picture with you and Aaron. And so she was like, okay, let's get in line. And we got 
like into Aaron's like section and we went and we took a picture with them. We were just kind of like going through the line a couple times because no one told us where to go after that. So then eventually we got back in Cameron's line and we went through Cameron's line and then we got, yeah, we finally left. Becky was like the sweetest person ever Becky to us. She was, was so nice. She was so nice. She gave us these bracelets that say, I love Aaron Carpenter. Like and we got Aaron We got them signed. signed. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of like faded a little bit because like it rubs up against stuff. And she signed our jackets and shirts. She's right yeah. there. And then Jeff's right there. And Aaron's right there. But yeah, so she was amazing. She was so sweet and she like, she really helped us out a lot with stuff. Sunday, we didn't have VIP, the VIP experience. We had VIP the first night, but then like, we were like, okay. Cause some people were saying, oh yeah, if you're VIP Saturday, you're VIP Sunday too. And then they were like, oh, if you're VIP, then you're general and priority and they said like we were everything and then it turns out that we were in like our own special line yeah all the vip people went in and then um nick went down the line he said if you were saturday vip get into the vip line so then priority went in and they all like were crowded around the door and then he let us in like the saturday vip people and then the general and we were all just kind of like waiting by the door and then when it got let in everyone was like pushing and shoving and it was like crazy then we got pushed towards like the barricade and we were like in the middle and everyone was like shoving and pushing and yanking on hair and stuff and it was crazy and eventually we got like we were at the front like we were being like shoved to the front and stuff and like people were like moving and like going because their line their number was getting called I was getting like claustrophobic and like hot and like shaky so while all that was happening like she was going and like talking to Becky and stuff I was like I kind of sat on like the barricade bench for a couple like a minute and then like another security guard came over he was like are you okay and I was like like, like, I was like vibrating, like my entire body was like numb, like I don't even know what happened. It was weird, but I was like, no, I'm like not okay. And so he brought me over and like we went behind the boys and Matt came up to me. He was like, are you okay? I was like, no, I got like super claustrophobic. And then he like gave me a hug and he was like, okay, um, I hope you feel better. And so then I went behind Cameron and he was like, are you okay? And I was like, um yeah I just got super claustrophobic and so then he was like oh, okay um yeah and so then I kind of like talked to him and then I went and I sat by his speaker and that's uh, like someone brought me water and then like a couple minutes later Jala showed up and, and we, we sat, sat there, there for like an hour like, in that Crazy. hour Cameron kept getting like different shirts or something yeah. for like presents and he'd go be there was like a two foot two or three foot like crack and like I guess one time when he was changing like he like didn't like go he didn't it. go like he behind didn't, like, it realize enough. anybody was looking so we i saw cameron dollar shirtless his butt yeah. was like hanging out of his like pants. Pants. and i was like like we could see oh my god yeah. so then like we sat there for an hour and i was like trying to calm down and like my leg would not stop like shaking and like bouncing and so then this one security guard came up to us and he was like here girls I want you to sit outside so you can calm down and get away from all the music and noise and then once you're like ready I can bring you back so we went out there and we sat out there for like 20 30 minutes and like my leg had finally finally like stopped like shaking for the most part and then we didn't know where that one security guard went saw him go up an escalator so we were like okay we can just wait till he comes back down and then he finally came back down and we were like wait were you the one that said you let us back in he was like yeah follow me so he let us back into the VIP area and we were like okay so yeah we kind of we went to Becky we thanked her for like everything she did because she is amazing she is like my homie she's our homie Sunday night we were like um 
we, since we technically weren't supposed to be in the VIP area, we didn't meet all the boys. We just met Aaron, Carter, Matt, and Cameron again. And so what we did was we went, we went and met Aaron, we took pictures, then we went to Carter and Matt and we took pictures and like I hugged them. And I like went up to Matt and I was like, thank you for hugging me when I was like having a meltdown. And he was like, oh, you're welcome. Are you feeling better? I was like, yeah, I'm better and stuff. And so then she took pictures with them and stuff. And yeah, we moved on to Cameron. So then with Cameron, I went up to him and I hugged him and then he like picked me up and we took pictures and then I hugged him again. He was just like, are you better? Like, are you okay? Because while we were sitting over there and I was like shaking, he kept, he looking, kept at looking at us and I was like crying. So then he like asked me if I was okay and I was like, I am okay. I am better. I love you. And yeah, so then Jala took pictures with him. And um, so he like hugged me and then he like picked me up and I was just like, he's really strong. He's really, he's really strong. strong. <laughs> and then, um, and then I didn't even say I love you because I was just like parenting him. I was just like, I don't even know what to do right now. So he, he like hugged me and he was like, I love you beautiful. And I was like, ah! They were so amazing. On Sunday while we were waiting, like, because we didn't want to wait in line for like a long time since we only oh, had like priority. We met these girls and they were like, we want to go down to the boys floor and try to get in an elevator with them or like try to like meet them because they didn't have tickets. So they were like, but we can't go through the elevator because oh, there's, there's like security guard. Right there. So Jala was all like, shh. Okay, I I'll let Jala. Like, I was like, I didn't even like mean. I was just like, hey, aren't there like fire stairs or whatever? And they were like, oh my God, you're like the smartest person ever. And Nicole and I were like, that's really funny. He was really stupid. <laughs> and then, um, so we did that, and so, we like we were like tiptoeing through metal stairs. The just, stairs were so loud. Like ah! we didn't even like know where their rooms were. We were just gonna like look through the hallway and see if like any of them were like in the hallway, which they were. Then the boys left, and we were like, let's just let's go. Just let's just go. Follow them, I guess. The elevator was like about to close, and Carter like stuck his foot in there, and we were like, hey, can we go down the elevator with you? And they're just like, yeah, sure. So that happened, and then we were like, we should try to see if we can get in the elevator with any of them. So we just kind of rode the elevator around for a little while. There was this guy, he was like one of the... Like, yeah, he was one of the... Uh, bodyguards? He was like one of the like bodyguards slash manager people. And he was smelled he so smelled good. He smelled so good. I was like, I like your shirt. And he smelled really good. And he was like, thank you. And I was like... Did I just say that out loud? And then he got out and like the whole elevator like smelled like him. So then we were like, oh my God, we should totally do that again. Cause one of the MadCon boys might come in. And Taylor came in. Taylor Kenneth, like he Taylor. smelled really good too. The elevator smelled so good after like both of them were in there. When we were about to leave, I got to take a picture with Jeff, which is Aaron's stepdad and he is amazing too. Both Becky and Jeff kept yeah, checking up on us. Thank you so much, Becky and Jeff. You guys helped you guys us like, were a lot. Amazing. We're so experiencing fun. PMD. Yeah, post macon depression. VIP is like the amazing. Like yeah, because you is, actually get to meet them. Yeah, like, you get to meet general, them. You get to hug them. You get to like just you get to interact with them. You get them to sign stuff, and it's amazing. And you get a free T-shirt, which I'm wearing right now. Oh. So yeah, this is our, these are our sweatshirts. This is my t-shirt, and this is the sweatshirt. And they which signed. we got all the boys to sign and stuff. So yeah, that was our experience. I totally like and completely recommend going, even if you just get general or priority. It was so amazing. If you do go, talk to Becky. She is the nicest person ever. It might seem